Ken, this time we want to talk about the new MGP series. What does MGP stand for, first question? Well, the P in MGP stands for premium, and this is Yamaha's new analog and digital hybrid premium mixer. And, okay. Yeah, <laughs> because I just wanted to ask, um, how is it related to the um, existing MG series? That's a good question. Actually, uh, the brief answer is it's not. We started over with the design entirely. So the preamps on these are actually Class A microphone preamps of a completely different design than what we have incorporated in the MG series. And moving into the EQ section, we designed it uh, to have a very classic, what everyone calls the British sound. And we've done this by modeling famous analog EQ circuits, and not digitally, but in analog, reproducing that type of circuitry in analog with the hysteresis, as it's called, or overshoot characteristic of the EQ, which brings a warm and musical sound that people really like. So we wanted to bring that into a compact mixer format. And uh, moving on from there, we have built-in RevX and Yamaha's famous SPX processors. And you can do some very basic editing right here from the front panel of it. And as you'll notice, when you get into using the delays, you have a tap tempo. So you could go in here and actually change the delay time, if you wish, simply by tapping. And if you need more ability to go in and change different parameters of the reverbs or the delays or any chorusing or anything you wanted to do, we actually have, hey, an editor for it. So the MGP editor allows you to connect to here, which is actually an Apple iPod certified port. And the certification part means that it will always be up to date with iOS devices. We're using an Apple chip that we get from them and um, have integrated that into the console. But what I hope are better converters so you can also use your iOS device, charge it while you're playing music through it if you wanted to. So if you were a small band and you wanted to play music that you have on your iPod or your iPad, you can stream the audio in here and control the digital aspects of the console. And moving on to other digital aspects beyond effects one and two with the RevX and the SPX, we have this hybrid channel, which is the combined analog and digital channel. And this actually has some really powerful features um, for commercial installation use, but you can also use it as a creative effect. So if we plug a microphone in here and we have background music playing in a restaurant, either coming from the iPod connection or the USB connection or analog, it's up to you, you can design this channel to actually automatically lower the music. If you're calling out a meal order and you say, you know, Johnson party of two, please come, the music will duck a bit, as it's called a ducker, and you can change those attack and decay times by using the iOS device. And we also have, if used in a restaurant situation, sometimes you might have the speakers very far from each other. And you've heard the old classic records, Aretha Franklin is singing on this side, and the whole drum kit is over there. We've addressed that by having a mono blend and stereo switch on here, which allows you to do a blend of mono and stereo to still keep some ambience when you're in blend mode, or keep it completely mono so all speakers sound the same, or just go in true stereo. So at the flick of a switch, you can do that. Now, looking at all of these options that happen in the digital world, let's say you've used your iOS device to edit a bunch of parameters in the reverbs, the delays, and then the ducker, and change compression settings and things along those lines. And then your friend wants to borrow your mixer and take it out to a gig. What's he do? He's got all of things set crazy. You simply hold these two buttons here while you power it up, and it resets it to the factory state, so you don't have to worry about strange settings. Someone in a rental company may have rented out to use for a speaking engagement, and now you want to use it for party music. You can just reset it without having to connect an iOS device. So they kind of thought of everything in terms of a portal mixer people would take out and use in the field. That sounds very good. A lot of information. What's about that one? Um, oh, yes. Does that belong to it? The one behind me. It, this is the 12-channel version. So they're identical, but you can pick whichever format you think most suits your needs. If you really need something very compact, you can get the 12-channel. If you need a few more channels, the 16, audio quality, all feature sets are the same. It's just strictly the channel count that we're talking about. And another nice feature is the rack gears are built in. You can just use it as you wish, pop them in and out. And well, that were a lot of information. I don't have any more questions. <laughs> Thank you, Ken, yeah, sorry, for your time. Yeah. <laughs> that was perfect. But um, if you want to read through the information again, just go on to, to the um, website yamahaproaudio.com. And uh, we say tschüss. Tschüss. Auf Wiedersehen. Um, yeah, that was very good. <laughs>